Okay. Okay, okay, I think it's working. This is local recording. This is not a live stream. Um, I was trying to record me playing some SF4 Omega, testing out Kami. Unfortunately, my internet dropped every 10 minutes about for like an hour straight. So uh, the archive is basically unwatchable. So I thought I'd put together just a little thing that's all the stuff I found with Omega Kami, just in a really quick nutshell. There's basically going to be a bigger, more formal version of this in the Omega B&B, &B, even when that happens. Um, She's still got there's the the input leniency helps her a lot because like basically all of her normals like just combo with like zero effort, which is kind of cool. Um, but like like literally everything is plus quite a lot with Kami. Like like even combos that you wouldn't really think would be possible, um, go together pretty easily. I think she can do fierce fierce on Rio too. Yeah. Oh, got a little ahead of myself. Um, Spiral Arrow is like basically the same at first. The medium one, the light one, you can't have AC, but then the hard one, you can. You can still like space it to make it safe. It's like a pretty similar move to what it was. You can actually have AC the hard one on either hit, um, which is really cool. I should make a save state, um, which is really cool because her super now juggles out of the second hit. Her super is like basically completely changed. It looks kind of similar. It's really fast still, but the way the hits are dispersed is, is, is really different. Um, and you can't do it after like DP anymore used to work a little bit, but you can see the difference in the arc like that, but then you do something like um, um, wrong combo. You do something like this. This gets a ton of damage. Super's really, really strong. It is for pretty much every Omega character if you're not aware of the Omega like universal stuff. 410 by itself, so even in very short combos that's just going to be doing a shit ton. Um, let me see here. EX Spiral Arrow. It's got like a bunch of hits. So like it looks like it would be really good, but it's actually really bad that it has a bunch of hits. It doesn't do anything good for it. It gives it like a bit of juggle potential that it wouldn't normally have, but the juggle potential isn't really... A lot of the hits are weak, and you only want one of the hits. You only want the last one, which is pretty strong. The initial ones are only like 20. But it gets to be a really big problem when you're when you're fighting a Ryu who does like... Um, like, like if you're trying to go through a Hadouken... Let me get right here in memory. Like, if I go through a Hadouken like this, it's really easy to get only one hit, and not the good hit. And then that's unsafe. That's 20 damage. But if you're half-screen, it usually gets, like, the last hit as well, and it combos. But just, like, you can't use it from further out than, like, half-screen, or else it's shitty. Um, oh, but, um, you can actually juggle into all of them. Um, or rather, you can juggle into the medium one, the heavy one, and the EX one, for whatever reason, not the light one. Um, and they have a special hit, like the medium one's normally 110, and the hard one's normally two hits, 70 and then 100. But in juggles, they always do, like, 100, and they both have the same 100 hit. For the hard one, it's probably not even changed, it's probably just the first one has no JP and the second one has JP. But for the medium one, I don't know. Anyway, that can pick up combos in various places, that's like a lot of her knockdowns lead into that. Um, Cannon Spike is really strong, raw. Like, if you do just a regular one, light is, like, 150, and heavy is, like, 170. So, like, um, it looks like it's really crazy high damage, which I guess it is, but, like, um, that's only raw. If you do it in, like, juggles and stuff, they're, like, insanely weak DP motions in Omega. That did 70 for the second hit. So, they juggle, technically, but the damage is really low. You'd rather juggle into a Spiral Arrow, actually, which has better Oki anyway. Um, you don't really do sure you can have ADC combos in Omega for the most part. So that's a lot stronger. Um, the EX one's pretty cool. It does 200, which sounds like a lot until you remember that the hard one is 170. Um, but unlike the others, the EX one actually like juggles properly. Um, like the rest of the Omega characters, she can't FADC her uppercuts on block. She can only do it on hit. The exception is the EX one. Um, there you go. Whoa, nice. There you go. Uh, if you do get the EX1 FADC, you can do something like this, which looks pretty funny. So gets the full juggle, does good damage. Um, Ultra is shit now, basically. Like, Ultra is just completely shit now. Um, let me get a better save state. If I do, like, Spiral Arrow FADC Ultra, that used to be, like, bread and butter. That's not horrible. 362. But, like you're only doing 362 over, like, 270 from my, like, no ultra juggle. And the ultra doesn't work in a lot of places where it used to work. It just falls out. It's, like, almost impossible to find setups for it that I can find. It's pretty slow. It doesn't combo after even, like, counter hit stuff. Like, even, like, a counter hit low strong or low fierce or, uh, 
close strong. It won't it won't combo in time. It's got to be at least like eight or nine frames. I mean, at least eleven or twelve frames startup, because those are like plus ten on counter hit. Um, and then uh, like a ton of scenarios where you think you would get a juggle, you can't get a juggle. Like it doesn't work. It just goes under for like a ton of them. It's not just that. Um, I don't think you can get it here or anything. You can get super here. Well, that actually worked. All right, that might actually be like a real place to use it. But the damage is really low when you're juggling to it anyway. So you're really just trying to land it raw. Basically, if you're not getting the raw connect, which is pretty hard to land. Um, and you've got less time after like EX dive kicks and stuff to combo it too, although it still works. Oops. That's still a way to land it. It's to land an EX dive kick. But like it's a lot tighter than it looks. Like a lot of like high connect EX dive kicks won't work anymore. Like I don't think that would be able to combo into Ultra at all, ever. Because the Ultra is a lot slower. And the EX dive kicks have a lot less frame advantage. Um, let's see. What's, like, really big? The dive kick is, like, always... It's more normalized. If you get a really high, bad connect, you can still, like, easily juggle out of it. Or combo out of it. Like, it's it's very rare that it's not at least plus four. No matter how you connect with it. Um, and most of her, like, good stuff starts at four frames, so there you go. Um, if you get it on block, though, it's like almost always safe like regardless of the height but it's almost always going to be like minus four i mean not minus four uh minus like two it's it, it seems more normalized it doesn't really matter what height you connect it at anymore it'll give you like approximately the same frame data no matter what from what i can tell um the x one's pretty much the same thing it's not as frame vintage on on hit but it's more frame vintage on block same with the regular dive kick um let me see uh if you're doing like a she's got like a new special move it's like it's like the dive kick, but slightly different. If you're doing it from a from any jump forward normal except jump hard hard kick, um, you can actually cancel them into dive kicks, and it knocks down. And I think they're mids and not overheads because the regular dive kicks are. Um, so it, you can't use it to help you confirm or anything, but there are certain juggles you can do. I'm just going to show this one right now, where you can like um, combo to the dive kick like that. So that looks like it might be like a real thing, but there's there's different variations of that that are from what I can tell better, so I'll get to that in a minute. But you can like juggle into it like that. And that also like goes for air to air connects. If you get like a like a mid air, you can combo into the you can combo into the dive kick. Oh yeah, by the way, jump strong now reels. Jump strong now causes like a juggle state. It's kind of hard to do anything with. But it's theoretically really good. It depends on the height where you connect it. You can juggle to the air throw too, but only on free juggle states, and that is not one. Um, if you go into EX, it doesn't knock down, so you can use that as like a combo starter. It does pretty high damage for a jump in, I suppose, and you can then go into all of your best stuff. So you can technically get like pretty good damage out of that. Um, let me see here. Uh, the really busted thing about it is you can do that after instant overheads. That's what I was going to get to. Like jump light kick or like jump jab, which I don't even think she had in ultra as an instant overhead. But jump light kick, I think she had like that at least. But like she can fuzzy into these and you don't even need fuzzy into that one, but that one doesn't work. But you don't even need, like with fuzzy into jump towards jab, like if I get like a dive kick, I can do like, um, I thought that worked. Maybe it's EX. I thought that worked. But you can do like certain jump stuff into like jump jab into into EX drill, and that all comboed. But like that's a fuzzy guard on someone who blocks the first hit. It's like an overhead into an instant, uh, an instant overhead into a full combo. Because if you ever get that fucking that, you can just combo into everything. Like that's just a full combo starter. So that's really busted. She's got like a really really strong low overhead game because of how incredibly powerful that instant overhead is. Um, what else? That's pretty much all I've got to say about dive kick. The hooligan's pretty nuts. So the hooligan always plays out this little animation when you get like the low connect, and you can no longer do the grab at all. Um, it's not half circle, by the way. The grab will not come out unless you ex it, and it's not like special or anything. Also, the ex goes way higher and makes it a lot harder to use. Um, it still tracks, but like it just goes so fucking high. It's not like a good thing for it, from what I can tell. Um, but uh. Uh, she's got a new follow-up where if you do, fuck, if you do like a punch, she like takes a big forward flip and it's got very little ground recovery. So you can kind of like sneak onto the other side of the opponent and then just all of a sudden be hitting them from behind. Stuff like that. And you can do that in like cancels. Um, I'm not very good at this. Like that. 
So she's got like an insane reset game. I haven't practiced this at all. But like, you'll have to believe me. Something like that. If I did like that, that would have been more reasonable. But you can just sneak up on the opponent's other side and it's like, it looks pretty hard to anti-air and also like, it's like a really good way to, it's very gimmicky. And depending on the version of your flip and the version of your fall, because they're different ranges, um, you can stay on the same side or change side, so it's very, very tricky to actually, like, beat. But technically speaking, you can still anti-air, like, a regular-ass jump. Like, if she, she can't do it raw, like, that clean, like, Ryu could still, like, just uppercut on reaction to it, maybe. Or even just low-forward ones like this. And you can low-block the whole thing, too. She doesn't have the grab ender, and, um, if you just, you know, let it rock, it's a low. It still seems to be safe, but I could be wrong. The slide that is, it seems to be minus two, but it could be like minus five. It's hard to tell. Um, let me see here. Quick spin knuckles basically completely changed. It has like total fireball invincibility basically as soon as you use it, and then um, it recovers super super quickly. That's the light version. If you do the medium version, it goes a bit farther. If you do the heavy one, it's kind of slow, but goes like more like the original Ultra Street Fighter 4 version. Um, let me get Ryu throwing a fireball, just to show off what it's like. You can whiff it really easily during fireballs, but actually punishing a fireball with it is pretty hard. This builds meter, so it's not horrible. Gets you in a little bit. Ryu basically can't punish that. Well, um, but if you are trying to punish a fireball with it, it's like pretty hard. You have to basically predict pretty aggressively. But uh, they're all safe. Like the medium one's minus one, the light one's minus two, and the heavy one's plus two. So there's basically no risk in actually doing this. And then if you get it to hit, you can juggle out of it with various things, like super or drill. Um, let me see here. Uh, EX1 is pretty different. It's minus. It's unsafe. But it's kind of like... It's 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 hard to explain. It's like a bunch of hits. It's basically impossible to go through a fireball with the X1, from what I can tell. It gets fireball invincibility super fucking late, and it tends to get only one hit. It doesn't work at all. Um, but you can use it to extend combos quite a lot, because if you FADC the second... You can already juggle out of it. But if you FADC the second to last hit, it's plus nine. So you can do like, you know, um, I don't know. I just like put together a random combo. But like something like that, you can use it to extend combos like that. Um, I don't know how useful that really is because it's a fuck ton of meter to spend. From what I can tell, Kami builds a lot of bar. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I don't have that much to say about that. Okay, so this is the fucking glue that that binds the entire character together. I've been doing this periodically, but I should have talked about it immediately because it's literally the core of her entire character. She has a new special move, Killer Bee Sting, that like launches the opponent. Um, light one's pretty fast, medium one's kind of fast, hard one is kind of slow. Basically, the light one combos from all your lights, the medium one combos from all your mediums, and the hard one combos from all your heavies. Um, on hit, it kind of launches the opponent up, and you can get some juggles out of that, but more importantly, you can actually forward jump cancel. You can't jump the cancel the other directions. And then if you get the forward jump cancel, you can do stuff. Immediately I found this. Like, and by immediately I mean years ago when this game came out, I found that. And I thought that was just the BB. Um and it's pretty good. It's not horrible. But you can do this, which I found after like two seconds of searching, like yesterday. And then I also found that you can do after like five minutes of searching, I found you can do uh this, which is not actually better than the previous one I just showed. And I think Sefric pointed out that you could do this, which is, from what I can tell, the best ender most of the time. Uh, jump medium punch into medium drill when you land. I use medium instead of hard because they do the same damage and medium never crosses under. But the Oki is really good on that, and it's actually damage optimal of all the follow-ups. But really, really good Oki and really, really good damage. But the thing is, like, like it goes pretty far, so you can combo almost anything into it. You can, like, do that as an ender for just about any combo she has. Like, only certain ones push out too far to combo. But, like, for the most part, it's just, like, any fucking sequence. You can just combo into that Killer Beast thing, and it just leads to a ton of damage. That one's a bit too far. There you go. Um, but, like, almost any normal. She's got some variation of a combo into that. So, like, and it, all of those are damage optimal. Like, any time you can land a Killer Beast thing, it's damage optimal. If you have one bar, you can do, um, we were looking for, like, one bar combos. At first, we were like, okay, you can do, like, that, and then you can still juggle out of it. So, like, um, we were like, oh, maybe maybe that's the combo. 289, not bad. But then we found this. 
And that's pretty strong because that does the 200 damage of a before scaling. But that ends that ends up being like the optimal for the most part. Oh, but look at this. Okay, I'm I have three bars. Look at this. Look at this combo. Look, I basically got a full bar for doing that. She gets a ridiculous meter build. Granted, that was a relatively optimal combo, but like her meter build is just through the fucking roof. That's literally a full bar for just a combo. A full bar. So like a lot if you're if you're at like full meter, you can just start your combos with like EX drill. Like if in punish combos. Um maybe not like that. Um And you just get your meter back. You just get your meter back. And if you're not trying to spend meter at all, like you you build meter really quickly. Which is a shame because she doesn't actually seem to have that many good ways of using meter. <laughs> like her super is pretty good. Um it's actually like you get a lot of damage doing her super in various places. Um But then uh when you look at her other like meter stuff, it's actually kinda bad. Like um you can't DPF ADC, so that doesn't matter much. You've got the three bar EX DPF ADC, which is quite important for three for the three meters though, so it's really expensive. And then like EX spiral arrows, not that many places to use it. It's probably mostly EX dive kicks you use. But like using she doesn't have a good two bar or like three bar combo. And her four bar combo is of course really expensive. So you're mostly gonna be doing zero and one bar, and the damage difference between zero and one is not huge. It's like good enough that you want to use it. But just like that's my B and B meterless combo, it's three forty three. And then with the EX, it's 400. So that's like a pretty good increase for one bar. But like, um, that's like the only really good way of using meter in combos, from what I can tell. And it's almost the same as her meterless combo. Her meterless combo is just so good. Um, is there anything else? Oh, she's got a new normal. Jump, neutral jump, down hard kick. It's kind of cool because her other neutral jump heavies like are very, very small. But this one is actually very tall. And even if you get like a really high connect on it, you can come down and like um, combo out of it. So if you like predicted, if you like made them, if you made them like tech a throw and then jumped, you know, um, you might be able to hit them while they're still teching and then maybe get like a combo out of it. That's the only use I can think of for it because I literally can't find anything else that does. You can ensnare with it, um, but uh, it only works on neutral jumps. It doesn't cause like a reel or anything like that. You can't cancel it to like a dive kick. It doesn't seem to do that much. Oh, I didn't mention, but EX, this thing just does a little bit more damage. Oh, oh, wait, hold on, that's important. Um, if you block the EX one, if you block the normal one, it's unsafe. And you can't jump cancel anymore, it's like minus 10. But you can still have ADC to safety. Um, I like the third hit, I guess, technically. Uh, but the EX one, you can actually still jump cancel, even if they block it. And then you can do stuff like, you know... You can like get mix-ups going from there. You're still technically like Ryu could uppercut me between. So unless I just F eighty seed away, um, I would be still technically punishable. But the point is like you can kind of surprise people who are looking for an unsafe attack by doing like an instant air dive kick. And then from that instant air dive kick, you can get like some fuzzy guard stuff. You know, you know, her confirms are just really easy. Especially because she really benefits from, like, the uh, links being easy in this game. Because she can just put together, like, some really basic stuff. Um, is there anything else I want to talk about? Not really. I just wanted to show off, like, what her character is all about. In footsies, she's got the, this crazy abuse with this uh, uh, very tricky instant cross-up that, like, a lot of people aren't really ready for. And then in po in combo, she's got this really fucking centralizing like launcher move that just does like the damage is pretty poor, but like the, the scenarios it creates are really good, basically. Um, so like between those, t she's mostly the same as Ultra, but between those two tools, her entire like priorities change. And then Ultra One is just a lot worse. Oh, her Ultra Two, I should mention right now, doesn't seem to have changed. It seems to do somewhere in the realm of 450 damage, and um. It comes out on the first frame still, but it still loses to grabs. It still loses to, like, armor breakers. Um, it's basically the same ultra. It still has the freeze and everything. But if you... Um, if you... Uh, just by merit of the fact that ultra 1 isn't as good anymore, because it's kind of... Like, it's kind of hard to find those ultra 1 setups. I don't think you can do it after, like, an incinerator. 
It'd be really strong if you could. But like, it seems to be too high. But you can do it after like jumping stuff, or like after a raw EX dive kick, because that's got a lower height height restriction. Um, but it's a little bit harder to land her Ultra One, so Ultra Two is less bad by comparison, I think. But like, both her Ultras are really bad in Omega. There's very few ways to land them, and very few ways you'd want to land them. Like, look at this. Let me show off this combo before I forget. Let me say I have like a launching combo into like uh, I should have gone into drill. That's my meterless ender, right? 292. Now look at this. Let's spend one bar. 352. Okay. Keep in mind that number. Let's burn. Let's do an FADC Ultra. This is kind of hard, by the way. So this might take a few tries. It's like really precise on when you hit the jump medium punch. I think a later one would be better, actually. It's not just do it as late as possible, and it's not just do it as early as possible. There's like a window where it works. It's like when they start falling the fastest or something, I can't tell. I might just give up on even getting this. I'll just spoil it, it doesn't do as much damage as like the fucking one bar, despite costing two bars. Just because the DP in Juggles is so weak. Only 70. Shit. You can't do it on FADC forward dash. It'll be easier in the corner. Let me do it like that. Oh, and all these combos still work in the corner. Um, is that actually easier in the corner? Maybe I have to be cornered to make it easier, actually. Well, that's easier for sure. Ugh, I didn't get it. This might not work at all in the corner. I promise it works mid-screen. I thought it didn't work, too. I was like, oh, this doesn't work, and then Sephiroth did it, and then I managed to do it a couple times. It's just really, really precise. And also, it might not work at all in the corner. Let me try when I'm cornered. No, but I probably get too much ground. I'm probably not going to be cornered by all the essential parts of this. I'm doing pretty good cancels, too. I don't want the entire video to be just me dropping this combo over and over. Um... The point is, it's not very strong. It literally does less damage than the one bar combo despite costing two bars. And that's like the only way to combo Killer Beasting into uh, Ultra. And it's like hard as shit too. And like Killer Beasting is like so good that all of your regular combos to DPF ADC Ultra are not that good. Shit. Um. Where's my... That's so far away. I think I was just late though. DP still seems pretty fast, and also every version of it has invincibility, which is kind of cool. I don't remember if Ultra Kami was like that. That looked good. 427. That's like ultra damage. Like damage you'd expect from Yosa 4. But this game isn't really about that ultra damage. This game is more about that. Oh, um, you can come up to medium spin knuckle. I forgot about that. From like heavies. From far, close and far heavy punch. Or no, only far heavy punch. It's kind of cool looking, and then if you get it, you can actually juggle into the medium spiral out there. It looks pretty cool, but it's not actually, it's like barely below damage optimal, compared to like, you know, her uh, equivalent to Killer Beast in combo. Um, what was I going to say? That might be it. That's basically Kami in Omega. BNB soon, maybe, perhaps. Perhaps.